Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Features Studio and today I'm going to show you how to use media management to export all the assets from one project into one folder uh, for archive purposes or to send it to a collaborator. Let's check it out. All right, so we're in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and I have a video that I've edited. There is some sound effects, there is some music, there is some clips, and I would like to basically get all those assets in one folder uh, to archive it. So I have just only all that in one place. To do this, it's very simple. I'm just gonna go here over to file and I'm gonna select media management it's going to open this window and here you have a couple of things that you can do it's such a great tool to consolidate your project and make sure that you have all the file and all the assets necessary uh, in one spot for example if you've edited this video uh, using two hard drive you can just consolidate and have everything uh, you know in one folder that you can then just archive in one hard drive so here you have three possibility you have entire project timeline and clip so basically entire project will concern everything that is in your media pool everything that is within that DaVinci Resolve project uh, will be exported. You have a timeline, which basically you select here, for example, timeline one. It will concern all the assets uh, only in timeline one. And then you have clip, which is basically uh, right here. I don't have any clip selected, but if I were to select those clip, for example, and go back to here, uh, media management clip, as you can see here, the size range from zero to two gig. That means that that's all those right here that will be selected. It could be a very nice way if you know there is only specific element that you want to export. You can just select all the element that you would like to export and then you can just uh, export a clip. So for this video, I'm gonna use timeline as an example, because I think that's the one that most people are gonna use to archive or send, you know, a specific timeline. Here you have two things, you have copy and you have transcode. Basically copy as the name said, will just take all the asset and copy them to the destination that you've selected. But you can also use transcode to just uh, change, for example, the codec of the video. So right there, you can just select video. And here you can just choose another codec, for example, here, if you want them uh, in Apple ProRes, or if you want them in DNX HR, uh, you can just do those modification right there. But it won't not only copy, it will just transcode them and then make a copy in the destination that you've choose. Right now, we're just gonna do copy. Then you can select the timeline that you wish to export. So here, it will be timeline one. And as you can see, it gives you information on what is the size of the export and if we go to transcode again and here we select uh, you know a format that is a bit heavier like uh, DNX HR for example uh, it will just update us to what is the current size and what will be uh, the new size once the media are transcoded so it's very nice to be able to see the difference of file size uh, you know once you've transcoded anyway let's just go back to copy here you can simply select use media we're just gonna make a copy of the entire clip uh, you know the original clip to the new destination or you can use media and trim uh, keeping 24 frame handle so that's basically gonna trim all those clip and just leave like either 24 frame or you can uh, you know select a bit more for example if you want to have 96 which is basically gonna trim this section that you use in your video but here uh, at 96 frame i will just basically leave four second at the beginning and four second at the end if you want to readjust some timing or leave some space to have a transition and stuff like that uh, so that's also a great way, for example, if you've done a derishing, if you've done a rough cut uh, to just export already like trimmed media and not the original. And as you can see right now, we're going from the current size of 10 gigabyte to like half the size because everything is just like trimmed because everything is just trimmed and we keep the essential. Uh, right now, we're just going to select all media because I would like to archive uh, the original asset that I've used. Here, if you have use project name subfolder ticked, it will just put everything in a folder that will get the name of the project. So here is Java. You can also here uh, preserve the hierarchy of the folder structure if you have one. Uh, for this one, I don't want it. And you can also here select relink to new file, which basically going to update the location of the asset for your current project to the new place where you're exporting all those assets. Right now, I'm not gonna do it. And now you can just hit start and start the exporting process. So everything right now is gonna export. So I'm gonna save you the exporting time, but now as you can see, the export is done. And on my desktop, I have a folder called East Java, which is the name of the project. And here I have all the assets used for this project. So I have all the sound design, I have all uh, the clips, and I also have a DRT file, which is basically the project file of the timeline we were working in. 
So now you can just archive this project or if you were to send uh, this folder to someone, they will be able to uh, get exactly what you have here in uh, your DaVinci. Uh, they will get all the element, uh, sound design, uh, clips and so on. So they will not run into any issue while linking because you've made sure that everything is in one folder. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.